Tēnā koutou katoa, welcome to Kiwaha Key Phrases. The aim of this series is cut a few, give it a go, give it heaps, learn some phrases, some key phrases that you can throw into conversations that you're having in Te Reo Māori or throw into English conversations as well. Ko Gai and Espana tōko ingoa, with me te tangata mōhio o Te Reo, Shannon Honui Thompson, she's the boss of Things Māori at RNZ. Welcome to you. Is it fair for me to use that as, a, as your title? Oh, today, well, well, we'll work for today. It's a pretty huge title to have on your shoulders. I but you know, yes, today I'm happy to um, be that if that's what you want me to be. <laughs> I'm the student. Now we're going to be talking a lot about ki waha today, so let's all get on the same page. If you've been listening to this hotaka, to this programme, you'll know what a ki waha is, but if you've just dived in, what's a quick explanation of it? Oh, just a, a quick, a, um, quickly, it's a slang saying, I suppose, a colloquial saying, an idiom. You're not going to be fluent after listening to this series. What we're hoping to do is inspire, really. We inspire rather than educate. We want you to go, oh, that's interesting. Let's give it a crack from there. So let's start with um, these kiwaha. Uh, what's the first one that you've chosen today? In this one, and it really depends on how you say it, um, iwo nei hoki. How sad for you. Oh, yes. <laughs> so it depends if you kind of said that, you know, quite sarcastically. You could be, um, or you know, or you could say it with a lot of aroha in your voice. Um, yeah, it depends. Tuarua, mo. Second the, one for you. Second one for me is um, mateaha ite na fakaro. Um, good on you for that idea. I like this. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, my second one, tuhia kitirai. Tuhia kitirai. Never forget it. Oh, it's literally saying tuhia ki te rai, write it on your forehead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hini na ro makere uh, is a nice phrase which basically means um, it's just dropped out of your head, right? It's just, uh, I'm basically saying I'm a forgetful person. Uh, your th uh, third one? This one's quite good too, especially for rangatahi. Uh, katahi rā hoki, oh my god. OMG. OMG, yeah. So katahi, katahi rā hoki. Nice. This is a little bit of a more unusual one. You might be able to break this down for me. Kei tā wau wau ke koe. Kei tā wau wau ke koe. Kind you're lost. Of, yeah, you're, <laughs> you're, gone, you're lost. Timbuktu kind of, eh, in, in, in the Pākehā sense. Yeah. Uh, tā wau wau, yeah. the back of beyond. So you're, you're, you're miles off, your whore. Yeah. So they, those are the kiwaha, the idiomatic phrases or the slang phrases. Now we're going ahua hōhunu, a little bit deep into the world of whakatauki. Whakatauki is probably the formal, uh, more formal language. Um, and I actually I really love whakatauki because they really give you a great insight into how beautiful and poetic te reo Māori is. Maramara nui a mahi, ka riro i a noho. The benefits of hard workers is gratefully received by lazy bones. <laughs> This is a good one to use if you've given a speech or in a, in a place where the environment's um, really important. I mean, I know it is um, in lots of places, but uh, it goes, Fatu naro naro te tangata toitu te whenua. Fatu naro naro te tangata toitu te whenua. The people disappear, but the land remains. You know, this is a, a whakatogi that's been used for many years. You'll see it probably a lot in um, a lot of the photos if you look back on the land march. So those are the whakatau ki. We're going to end these sessions as we always do with just a simple line, just a simple phrase that you can pick up that um, you can try and drop into the conversation. Kai he te rau mamao. Kai he te rau mamao. You'll hear that a lot in our house. Where is the remote control for, for the television? You can obviously say, kai he te, kai he ngā tapu tapu tākoro. Where, where are the toys? Kai he, where is? But uh, kai he te rau mamao. It's a good one. I'm sure you'll use it. You learn that. You will use it tonight in your house. In and I've chosen one um, because it's something that you use on air a lot. And I thought a lot of people might want to know what it means. Te pātai tuatahi. Very simple. First, First question. question. First yeah. question, you'll, you'll yeah. hear, hear us use it on the radio. Pātai yeah. um, tuatahi, ki a koe, to the Prime Minister. First question to you. And we too try to translate them to keep people on, on the, um, you know, all on the same page. But it is a good one, isn't it? Yeah, if you're it's starting a good one. You can, use any, you can use anywhere. You could use in a meeting. Pātai tuatahi, first question. Pātai tuarua, second mm. question. And just yeah. quickly for people, like everyone knows tahi rua. If you're using, um, I think the flash word is like ordinal numbers or something. But if I'm saying the first or the second, I'm... Tuatahi, 
tuarua, and you'll often hear speakers in the reo, they'll stand up and they'll, they'll outline their whakatako, they'll uh, lay out what they're going to do, and they'll say, tuatahi, and they'll give their thing, and tuarua, and, and so you know you're all, so, so you're basically saying first thing, second thing, third thing, and it's a good way, especially, to keep it simple, to, to keep your kōrero, you know, to, to keep your whaka... Raupapa ni, yeah. your sequence. Ka nui te rā mua nai nai. It's enough for now. You can subscribe to all this. You can get a week's worth of these podcasts, Everyday Sayings, these key waha, key phrases. Get it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Podbean, wherever it is you get your podcasts. They're available too on the RNZ app and on radionz.co.nz slash series. And if you want to see uh, the video complete with subtitles or kupu hauraro, uh, which might be helpful, um, especially for us, for the learners, um, check out the RNZ YouTube channel and, and the Facebook page. Nice.